back and today we are looking at A Star Is Born directed by Bradley Cooper and starring the man himself and Lady Gaga. So the story of A Star Is Born follows two characters, Ali played by Lady Gaga and Jackson played by Bradley Cooper. The story follows them meeting each other for the first time to Ali becoming a global success whilst Jackson's career starts to slowly decline whilst also intertwined with their own love story with each other. Now this is a movie I was really, really late to getting around to see and I can't really understand why because I absolutely love this movie. From the start, the, literally from the very start to the very end, I absolutely loved this movie. There's a couple of reasons why I love the movie. The story in itself is a really, really good story. It's not just a good story from start to finish, it's a really well told story. And I think Bradley Cooper has done a really, really good job in the direction of this film, considering he was starring in the, in the film as well. So let's talk about the characters a little bit. Bradley Cooper, as I said, plays a character called Jackson Maine, who is a rock star. Now, he is a huge success at the start of the movie and is loved and adored by millions. He is also an alcoholic at the start of the movie and pretty much throughout the entire film as well. He stumbles across Ali in a bar after a gig one night because he wants to get a drink because he's run out of alcohol in his limo. Stumbles across her in a bar performing and is immediately transfixed with her and has to meet her. Their love story pretty much starts at that moment. Due to Jackson's fame, it allows him to throw Ali right into stardom right from the get-go, from the start of their relationship which is a really weird dynamic for a singer that's trying to make it to go from singing in a club of maybe a hundred people max to then being thrown on a stage where there's thousands of people in the crowd and, and the concert is being televised. So it's, it's, a, it's a very big leap that he, he throws Ali into. And Lady Gaga plays the role of Ali extremely well in the sense that nothing feels forced about the role at all. She blends to the role and blends to this character extremely well. I would like to think it's probably because she's been through the trials and tribulations of trying to become an artist herself, so she knows what it's like going from nothing to something, as, as she is now. However, the way that she plays the character is so real and so lifelike that you can't help but be absolutely transfixed with every single performance that she does. Her performance in this film, not just from an acting perspective, but the singing, the music in this film is unbelievable. And Lady Gaga is an absolute powerhouse in this film. As I said, from start to finish, totally glued to her. As the story progresses, Jackson and Ali's relationship becomes a lot more complicated due to Jackson's alcohol abuse, but also due to the fact that his career is now slowly on a decline as Ali's career is starting to go through the roof really. And it really plays out in their relationship together. They're starting arguing a lot more and there's a lot of resentment of each other due to the success and the decline of, of each character. But through that resentment, you can you can still tell that there is a fierce love between them. And I think that's what these two characters do extremely well. And Bradley Cooper and, and Lady Gaga perform this type of role together really, really well. And I can't, I know I, I've commended them, but I can't commend them anymore because I thought that the way that they gelled, the way that the the characters came together and the way that they portrayed that was phenomenal. So the music, as I've mentioned, the music in it is is great. Who knew Bradley Cooper had such an amazing voice? Like seriously, his voice is incredible. Obviously we know we know how talented Lady Gaga is. We know she can sing. We know that she can hit those massive, massive songs. But Bradley Cooper literally came out of nowhere and he is incredible. He is incredible. I would listen to him. I, if he bought if he brought out an album I would I would listen to it. Straight up, I would listen. I would listen to Bradley Cooper, which is very, very strange considering any type of role that I've ever seen him in before has literally nothing, not a thing, to do with music. So I think that that is another reason why you get hooked and it shocks you because you're like, wow, where where did this come from? And it's a, it's a pleasant surprise. I'm not gonna lie, it is a is a pleasant surprise. So without going into too much detail, and I don't want to spoil it, even though most of you have probably seen this film by now, the ending of this film has such an effect, well it did on me anyway, the ending of this film had such an effect on me that I was literally not gobsmacked but lost for words 
by the ending of this film. The way that the the they deliver the outcome of this story is so well played that it reduces you to tears. And I will I will throw it out there right now. I was a blubbering wreck by the end of this film. And it was mainly down to the story, not just the story, but like I said before, the music that accompanies the story plays such a vital, such a vital role in this film. And I think that without the film having the music that it that it has, I don't think the film would be as good as it is. The music in this film, and as, as I said, towards the end of it, when it comes to the conclusion of this story, has such an impact on you. It wasn't something I was expecting, however... There was something in the film that made me think that this would happen. And I'll get onto that in a second. I, again, I don't want to go into spoiler territory, but I'll go onto that into a set in a second. The ending of this film couldn't have been done any better, I don't think. I think that the ending of this film, the way that it was portrayed and the way that they produced the the the, the final act of this film with the music that is used is incredible. And as I said, reduced me to a a blubbering wreck. So going into my one and only, one and only negative about this film. And I was a little bit annoyed. I say a little bit annoyed. I was really annoyed, actually. Literally within the first, I would say, five or ten minutes of this film, there is a piece of foreshadowing in it that is so obvious and so in your face, you instantly know what's going to happen by the end of the film. Or to a particular person in the film because it's so in your face and as it happened I literally kind of threw my arms up and went well I know what's going to happen with this person now anyway that's my only critique about the film the good news about that is that you get so invested in everything else in this film that you almost forget about it by the end not totally but you almost forget about it by the end and because it's so well portrayed even when it does happen, even when you've got an inkling that it's going to happen, it still has the impact and the effect that it does. And whilst it is a critique of the film and a bit of an annoyance whilst it happens, still didn't take away from the shock and the awe uh, at the end of that film, which I absolutely loved. So am I going to recommend this to anyone? Yeah, of course I'm going to recommend this to not just anyone. I would probably recommend this to everyone. If you are a fan of love stories, you will love this. If you're a fan of music, you will love this. If you're a fan of both together, you will absolutely love this. But I would go as far as saying, even if you're not a huge fan of musicals, I say that in loose terms, if you're not a fan of musicals or you're not a fan of love stories, I still think that you will enjoy this film because it's not just that. There is so much more to this film than just a love story and a musical. And I still think that everyone should watch it. If you've not, I would highly, highly recommend it to everyone. So that's The Star Is Born. Did you notice the foreshadowing at the start of the film like I did? Let us know, drop us a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We've got extra content coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. We've also got a Facebook page and an Instagram account that we're updating on a regular basis as well, so go check those out. Peace!